What is up? I'm Wanda Turtle. So today we're playing some more PTCGO. Uh, we are still running the same Picaram deck we were running in episode one. And um, so let's see what kind of opponent we'll face. So I was actually recording earlier, uh, but I did get a phone call and we faced the hit and run Hitmon champ into Hitmon Lee into Hitmon top deck. And I feel like I struggle with that. Uh, it's kind of difficult to cut off that combo and it just does a lot of damage to the Picaram deck. Um, but actually, well, I missed my I missed what, what kind of deck we're facing. Uh, all right, let's see. Let's go with this. Uh, but yeah, I feel like that's another tricky matchup that I feel like I should be able to best, but I'm not really sure what I did wrong. Okay, this is a not so nice start. We do have a nest ball, I guess. We can Lele for a Lily. We can just dump the electro power if necessary. We nest for a Jirachi. We won't be able to use it. Ooh, they have a rough start too. All right. Oh wait, no, I can't nest ball for Tapu Lele. Hmm, this is quite ugly. I guess I could go for a Dedene, which isn't bad. Maybe that's what I'll have to do. Or Marshadow, clearly, if not so good hand, too. Let's see, what's the better route? Let's do this first, let's do this. And what's more important for me to set up or potentially disrupt them? I mean, they could have a bad hand, just as bad as mine, actually, so. Uh, but to narrow down two cards, uh, let's save it. Oh wait, this is a nest ball. Why do we keep thinking about that? Uh, maybe Zero Aura is good enough so I can at least retreat. Not sure why I need to retreat. Hmm. Not sure how I'm gonna get it. Oh, I guess I could goose my next turn. Uh alright. Not much I can do now. Alright, so what would have been better? Zero aura so I can retreat it, but retreat it to what? And then at that point I'm playing on top of my deck. I guess now I can Guzma to play Jirachi. Well, so or assuming he benches something, which if he doesn't, that's fine with me. Um Assuming he benched on I can Guzma into Jirachi and then start going. Acrobike. Acrobite's a card I've been considering putting into my deck. The fact that it discards helps with Tapu Koko Prism Star to a turn on that. And it's kind of just like a... Oh boy. Alright, we're in trouble. Okay, so I think what I need to do is Guzma into Tapu Koko... GX. Alright, no, I need to Guzma and use Tepco Prism Star. I need to ramp up one energy or get. See 270. So I need Ultra Ball. Or I can use two electro powers. Alright, for Ultra Ball this thing away. Shoot, I'm way short. Short in every in every way right now. If I Lele into Volcano. Oh, I can use a escape rope. Hmm. 
No, there's no way to do this so quickly. Alright, let's just spread my energies around for now. I can use this energy switch. Oh gosh. Can't think fast enough for this. Um Save the Guzma. I mean, most likely Charizard will be out next turn, but it is just a way to retreat. Electro power is really good. Let's drop the Guzma. We're going to just draw a bunch of cards. We'll get a Lily from Tapu Lele, I guess. Is it a good... No, it's not. Prime from our shadow. That's yeah, Lele. I guess we'll just take a big, good Lily. Only one Guzman left in the deck. Alright, there's a Guzma, which is nice. A skateboard, which is good. Thunder Mountain! Oh, here we go. Thunder Mountain. Oh, I can't Guzma anymore. I need a skate rope. Ah! Oh no, I did I did this all wrong. Okay. <laughs> uh, if I Ultra Ball into Tapu Koko. Let's just get this out there. Tapu Koko to bring out and take out Marshadow doesn't do much. Alright, either way, I think I can take it out next turn. Tapu Koko. Alright, maybe that's fine. Alright, so if I put the energy on this, then I could have escaped into this, take out that. That doesn't actually do a whole lot. I mean, this is the biggest threat. That's all I really need to deal with. Marshadow isn't anything, to be honest. It's very unlikely that I'll take out three non-GX Pokemon. Um... Although there's just another regular G eh, whatever. Alright, so next turn, I'm probably going to Tapu Koko into its GX attack to take out Reshi Charizard. Um, as long as he plays one more energy, it'll be 250 plus Electro Power that'll knock it out. And even if he knocks out anything, I'll still have the two energy necessary. Alright, that's pretty good. Unless I get Marshadowed, which is unlikely. And worst case scenario, he takes out Picaram. Which I can catch back up and I'll have an okay board state. Alright, if I played this terribly, definitely let me know in a comment below. Um, definitely still learning. Um, learning on the, on the, as we go. Nice. Well, there, that should be plenty for me to knock out that Rishi's art. So he's probably going to welder. Ooh, why? Just for a card draw? I mean, now you can't Guzma out my Picaram. And if you don't... If you don't switch out, that's even better for me. Acrobike. Alright, if he doesn't knock anything out, I feel like I instantly win. So I feel like you have to switch. Another Acrobike. I'm not sure, even sure what he's hunting for. If he escape ropes, I'll probably just sacrifice my Tapu Lele. Alright, I think we're in a good state. So I guess the problem is I don't have enough cards in my hand. Oh no, I'm fine. I only need two energy. How do you just retreat? What did they just play? Okay, I'm gonna miss what just happened. Huh? Oh wait, is there a skateboard? Okay, let's see. Okay, you have zero retreat costs, that's fine. 
All right. So, Ultra Ball. Into discard those two. Grab Tapu Koko. Uh, both energies go onto it, which is enough to GX. Okay. And oh, I can save the Goose. Yeah, I'll keep the Guzma. Oh, I don't even need the Electro Power. Let's just make sure. <laughs> 50 damage times the amount of energy attached to all your opponents. Okay, nice. So I don't need any of that stuff. That's nice. I think I wouldn't mind an energy switch. I feel like I rarely use the energy switches. When I first started, when I grabbed the deck from Gustavo um, list, it had additional energy switch, which I got rid of one. But to be honest, I, I feel like that just means I'm misplaying more so that it's less useful. Alright, so I feel like I'm in a very good state. He would need to use a welder. Yeah, he can't even... I mean, he could double blaze. That's an interesting tech card. Oh, Kiawe. Okay. That's fine. Let's see, how do I... take you out? Let's say I can do 130. Do 130. Oh, that's not enough. I need a Jirachi. Start with this. I guess I just take that out. Do I go after the Lele? No, I can kill the Lele later. Alright, is there any point in doing any of this? Not really. Just Electro Ball. Oh, it's going to be tough to knock that guy out. I need to use this plus these two. Alright, so I need to keep this guy alive. And I just need one energy, and then I should be able to take him out. Okay, there's the energy of the Guzma. If, oh, the fact that he promoted that. So he can't... He'll need to switch Guzma to take out this. Another welder. Okay, so you can't Guzma anymore. Alright, so this is probably safe, and that should be the knockout. Alright, so it should be good. Uh-oh, that's not good. I don't understand this. Plays an item or supporter card from their hand that affects... Whatever. Flare Strike. Alright, so I need two energy. Suppose I should promote this for now. Choice band. Man, where's my card draw? Oh wait. No, I'm down of energy. Jeez. Oh, that heat factory saved them. Alright, do I escape rope? Does this help me at all? Just makes them have to somehow switch. Yeah, but it does make Guzma alive. He still has his GX, which he can win from there. So I guess it's better not to escape rope. Oh, where's all my card draw? All I needed was an Ultra Ball to grab. Tapu Koko Prism Star, then I would win. Man, that was an unfortunate draw. I don't even know what Mew does. Prevent all damage done to bench Pokemon. Yeah, that's fine. Twice ban, that's fine. Oh, no, uh, that's whatever. Alright, so you can't do that much damage. Escape or Ultra Ball. Okay. Ultra Ball. I still need an energy card.
But now I only do 200, 230, 230 is a little short. So how can I make that up? Oh wait, I can just take out Lele. Oh, but I lost my Guzma. Hmm, okay. So I need an energy and a Guzma. Ooh, okay, there's my energy. Nice. Um, now I just need a Guzma. How can I get a Guzma? I'm Lele already played. Jirachi. Jirachi or Cynthia or something like that, just to just a good amount of looks. Dedene. I'm supposed to not do that. All right. All right. So let's see. I can. I wonder if I'm supposed to promote the other guys. So I can use Tapu Coco. That will allow me to do 200 to 60. Ah, oh, one short. All right. Oh, no, did any. I mean, I have to use my shadow. Me, I was supposed to grab Drachi. I'm not sure. Oh, yeah. No, that was a mistake. All right, if I grab Drachi, all I need is a Guzma. I keep forgetting what my plan is. Yeah, I should have put Zoro out there. Use this. Okay. That's fine. Still just need a Guzma. Alright, did I figure it out? Oh, wait. No! Oh. Did I already use my GX? I feel like I actually lost that. Um, so I feel like the opponent... Oh, I didn't have my GX. <laughs> That's why I mean. I keep making stupid mistakes. This time, my opponent didn't even realize it. Um, so, alright. We managed to pull off the victory. Uh, but we definitely should have lost that. <laughs> Uh, but hey, we'll take it, I guess. But yeah, I'm still making a lot of mistakes like that. Uh, but yeah, if you have any, um, if you have any, if you can point out any misplays. Let me know in the comment section in the comment section down below. Uh, but thanks for watching, guys. Still learning how to play. <laughs> still learning how to pilot this deck. And but thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, all down below. I'm Wanda Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.